Welcome to this interesting question. We have two circles which are lying on a straight line and touching it at point A and B. Circles are touching each other at point C. The length of line segment AC is 8 cm and BC is 6 cm. Exciting part is with this limited information we have to find radius of this big blue circle. Let's check the solution. We'll solve it in two parts whereby first part will find the length of AB and second part will find the radius of the circle. Now from point C let's draw a second common tangent here. Now with respect to this blue circle from point D two tangents DA and DC are drawn by theorem they will be equal in length and with respect to brown circle DC and DB are the two tangents they will be equal in length or D is the midpoint of tangent AB. Now if this angle is alpha then in triangle ADC it's an isosceles triangle so this angle here that will also be alpha degree. By same logic if this angle is beta degrees then DCB this is a isosceles triangle and this angle here will be beta degrees. Now in triangle ABC if we'll see sum of all the angles so all the angles are alpha beta beta alpha or 2 alpha plus 2 beta that's 180 degrees. Dividing by 2 we get alpha plus beta is 90 degrees. Now here this angle is alpha plus beta so here angle C is actually 90 degrees. Now here this is a right angle triangle so applying Pythagoras theorem we get AB square is 8 square plus 6 square. Solving it we'll get AB as 10 centimeter. As full length AB is 10 centimeter thus AD that will be 5 and DB will be 5. Also DC length that will also be 5 centimeter. Now we know that when two circles are touching each other then their centers and the point of contact they all three lie in a straight line. Also let's join O to A and P to B. <coughs> let's assume the radius of the circle this blue circle is R centimeter thus OA that is also R centimeter. Also radius is perpendicular to the tangent so this full angle A that's 90 degrees. Let's join O and D. Now in right angle triangle OAD applying Pythagoras theorem so we'll get this length of hypotenuse as square root of R square plus 5 square. Now if we'll see this angle C here now this is a tangent to the circle OC is the radius. So here this angle this will be 90 degrees and in quadrilateral ADCO the opposite angles their sum is 180 degrees and yes as opposite angle sum is supplementary thus this quadrilateral ADCO is a cyclic quadrilateral. So let's draw a circle which is engulfing this. Now in this circle let's apply Ptolemy's theorem. So what does Ptolemy's theorem states? The product of the sides that is OA times CD plus AD times OC. So sum of product of the sides is equals to product of the diagonals that is AC times OD. Now here putting the values CD, CD is 5 and OA, OA is R. So same way putting values here we get 5 times of R plus 5 times of R that is diagonal is 8 and square root of R square plus 5 square. So simplifying this we get 10 times of R is 8 times of this. So both sides dividing by 2 so we get 5 times of R is 4 times of this. Solving it by squaring both sides so we get 25 R square is 16 times of R square plus 5 square. Now simplifying this taking 16 R square on the other side we get 9 R square is 400 or R square that's 400 by 9. Taking square root we get R as 20 upon 3 centimeter or R is 6.67 centimeter and that's our answer. I hope you enjoyed the solution. I will see you in next video. Till then, tata, bye bye.